are off to New York, motherfuckers. It is 5.30 in the morning and I am so exhausted. Maya probably didn't sleep at all last night because she was up doing her hair and stuff, but we are now making our way. Where's the Starbucks? There ain't nothing like that first sip feeling. It is time to pull. Simultaneously making a TikTok. Going to New York. Here we are, crammed like a pack of sardines. We cannot escape, we cannot get out. Mama. All right, we just checked in to the hotel. The room is not ready yet. It's gonna be ready at three. So we're just gonna kill some time right now. Uh, what time is it? It is like, 1.45. So we're gonna kill some time right now, just kind of walk around the area, familiarize ourselves with the place, maybe grab some food, because I'm starving. Um, and then, yeah, we're gonna go back and check in. Alright, wow. they are jamming out yeah. and Joe and the Juice today. What are you gonna get? A green juice. I think I wanted the tuna cano, but I think I changed my mind because I'm actually, my, like my appetite just went away. I'm not sure if it's the city bringing out the skinny in me or what. Guys, we made it on the subway. It was a shit show to get the fucking metro cars and shit, but we made it happen. And so now we are on our way to our destination. Uh, okay, so we just got off the subway and now we are heading to or two which is like this really cool like men's clothing company that I found and so I just want to go see what they have um, There might be a cool outfit for me to wear at the panel tomorrow um, And yeah, so that's kind of the vibe the subway was not as chaotic as I expected which is good and Maya's living her touristy life she's loving taking pictures and everything of all the shit around us um yeah but let's go and do some fucking shopping because if there's a one thing new york is good at it's food and the second thing is shopping these pants are like a puffer jacket and a pant i'm, I'm like actually obsessed with them but maya hates them <laughs> so, they're so yucky nasty i don't like them. no i like them i think they're really cool like i think with the right outfit these would they be make your pants. crotch like look Crazy. Crazy. Look how it's yeah. We found this blazer, which is really cool. It has these kind of like exaggerated 80s shoulders and this pleating to it on all of the arms and kind of wrapping around. It's really cool. And it has these silver buttons and you know I'm a whore for silver. So we're trying to decide if this is the right fit for tomorrow or if going with this like silky magenta and cobalt mixed shirt that I have. I'll show you guys when we get back to the hotel. Kind of like uh, two different like oversized silky shirts that have been merged into one. It's, it's like a really cool piece. It's very exaggerated, which I love. I love stuff like this. Why are you not loving this sleeve? <laughs> It is kind the of The second you put it on, I was like, hocus pocus. <laughs> like, <laughs> it is, but I love it. I can't take you seriously. <laughs> I love it. I am here at Acne Studios, and this fit the most beautiful, like, shimmery pink fabric. Look at the, look at the back of it. Are you fucking kidding me? We yeah. just did a little bit of shopping and now we are going to go back so that we can get into our room, kind of unwind a little bit, relax. It's been a long day for the travel. Okay, so we just got into the room. There's the toilet behind that door. There's the shower behind that door. That's the front door. And then here's the bedroom. This situation is temporary because we have to share a bed until Sebastian comes and then Maya gets her own room. But the view, ugh, oh, nothing beats the city view of New York. Like this is so, so, so good. I'm obsessed. She's vlogging. She's like loving her life. But yeah, this is so cool. Oh, I really want a hot dog so bad. And there was a hot dog cart 
like right outside the hotel, but it just wasn't like, I don't know, there was something about it that was just like, that's not the one. You know what I'm saying? Morning vlog. Yes, I look fucking crazy. This is what I look like before the curls get fixed in the morning. They just be getting real fluffy. Anyway, it is like seven o'clock in the morning um, and we are getting ready for the event right now. And I literally had, uh, I found the bag of gushers from last night and I just had some. And now I've eaten them three times and I still am not in love with them. But I'm gonna continue eating them. Anyway, look at this view. Like, that's the fucking Empire State Building. What are we, what are we even doing here? Is life real? I'm trying the shower trick right now to like get the wrinkles out of my outfit. And it's like, it's not super duper working, but we'll put it back in there and try it again. See it, you see it? Yeah. The whole fucking subway train just cleared out. Like, what the fuck is going on? We are so fucking confused by these damn metro cars. We literally popped the fucking thing. Like, I know you're not supposed to, but we did because we're running late to the event. So, like, that's how this is going. Don't arrest us. Don't arrest us. Fuzzy. So we're done with the event for the day. So we are just now, we went to the hotel, we changed, and now we're doing a little bit of shopping. So many of you guys recommended that I come check out Coming Soon, uh, which is this really cute home store. And so I am here now. Let's see what they got. This is so cute. Like, oh my God, and it feels amazing. I love this. These are adorable. Trees. I'm like obsessed. These are so cute. Oh, these boxes are beautiful. Oh my gosh, how adorable. As if one cup of coffee was not enough, we are now here at Ralph's. I keep hearing about this damn coffee shop on TikTok and Maya keeps talking about it, so. We figured let's give it a try. We need a little pick me up. New York really is a draining city compared to the fat assery that we get away with in Houston of not walking anywhere, not doing shit. Guys, we're literally sitting here in Washington Square Park, like just people watching and some dancer like left his jacket on the floor and I guess he walked away. I don't know where he went. And this random guy is like hovering over the jacket. Like, look, he's about to take the jacket. I'm, I can't, I can't. Anyway, we were literally just, oh. Oh my God, he's chasing him. He's chasing him. Somebody was trying to steal his jacket and he is chasing him. We are here at La Dorée. It is like my favorite macaroon place ever. And I've only ever been to the Los Angeles locations. Um, if you've ever had their rose macaroon, it's like to die for, and that is what I live for. But here they have like a garden restaurant, it's so pretty. And so we're gonna grab some lunch and check out the tea and get some dessert and then continue on about our shopping day. I got a cherry blossom latte to go. It is the prettiest latte I have ever seen in my life. Like, literally my favorite color. Here's the taste test. Oh yes. Oh, it's yummy. store and like this ceiling oh my gosh like I'm obsessed I love the mirrored ceiling 
Okay, so we have now officially made our way to Fifth Avenue. We are going into Bergdorf Goodman. There's this TikToker, her name is like, I think Fashions with Marika or something like that, and she works here. And I always see her videos pop up on my For You page. And she's like, welcome to Luxury Fashions with Marika. I love her. She's like such an icon, I'm obsessed. So I'm hoping to see her in here. We are getting Maya her first ever New York hot dog. And if you haven't had a New York hot dog, like it's life changing, right? This is Maya's first bite of a New York hot dog. Go, tell me. But yeah, life changing. <laughs> it's good, huh? Yeah. Hey guys, all right, so it is nighttime. We are exhausted. We have been running around all day long. Um, we have dinner reservations at Carbone at 11, uh, which we're so excited for because we've always wanted to eat at Carbone. Like we buy the fucking Carbone pasta sauce from the grocery store because it's just like, you know, the perception or whatever. It, like we think it's better than the other ones. But I'm excited to try the real deal thing. Um, but because dinner is kind of late, like I know for some people it's not late, but for us it is because we're old as shit. Um, we are going to H Mart in Koreatown and we are going to just pick up some waters and some snacks to kind of hold us over until dinner. So we got the snacks and I got these Thai uh, like chicken kebab flavored Lay's and this steak flavored Lay's. Um, I don't know honestly actually what the fucking flavors are. I'm just going based on the pictures on the wrapper, but they were both pretty good. Um, and then I have had these before and when I saw them, I was like, oh yeah, I need them. These are like the best mango gummy candy like you could possibly have. I love gummy candy, if you know that. So, and they come individually wrapped, which is great because you can like take them on the go. Um, and then I got Sebastian regular Lay's just in case if these two crazy flavor Lay's were like a no-go. Um, and then we just grabbed some water. We are ready. We are dressed. Everybody looks so schnezzy. And we are about to get into the car. All right, good morning. So today is Friday. Me, Maya, and Sebastian are now walking to grab some coffee and some breakfast. And then we are going to hopefully go to the Met Museum, which I'm obsessed with. Last time I was in New York, which was my first time ever coming to New York, I did not get a chance to go see the Met exhibit, like the Met Gala exhibit uh, in the Met Museum, but I, I did go through the rest of the museum. So hopefully this time I get to see the Met Gala exhibit because I know that that one is to die for and I'm like literally dying to see it. Okay, so we're in the Met and we're looking at this exhibit and it's like stunning. But guess who I found, girl? I found Miss Starbucks herself. Look at Miss Starbucks. We are in the Karl Lagerfeld exhibit. Oh, I'm obsessed. Look at this. Look at this dress. done with the Met, which was fabulous, of course. We saw the Karl Lagerfeld exhibit, which was really cool, and it was like 
uh, here for a limited time. I think it finishes on Sunday. Um, so I'm really glad that we got to check that out. And now we are in Central Park. We did a little shopping at the Met, which is really, of course, fabulous. Miss Maya bought some stuff. She's thriving. And uh, we bought some stuff actually for the gallery and for ourselves. Um, and now we are walking towards this, uh, like the more central park of Central Park. <laughs> central, the central part of Central Park. I was supposed to record myself uh, with the hot dogs, but we shut those things down our mouths so fast. <laughs> those, we devoured them quicker than we even found a place to sit. So many cute fucking dogs around here. I'm like obsessed. We're here at Magnolia Bakery, the iconic. <laughs> I just saw somebody trying to rummage through the trash for home decor. I'm concerned. Seriously, this banana pudding is the best banana pudding I have ever had in my fucking life. Like, oh my God. If you ever get the chance to come here and get it, do it. Like, you will not regret it. So we are here at Cathedral for dinner. It is stunning. The restaurant is so pretty. Everybody looks so good. Miss Maya is straight her hair. Which I'm here for. Sebastian looks yummy as usual with his diamonds. Um, and so this restaurant is basically designed to like look like a cathedral, which I think is really cool. And it's uh, French and Mediterranean cuisine. So I'm really excited to try it. I think it's gonna be really fucking yummy. And I'm starving. on our way to get some coffee this morning and we literally just got off the subway and stumbled upon this market which has the most adorable like fruits and flowers and like all this stuff like it's so cute all this handmade stuff so we just kind of took a little detour from our scheduled program to go through it it was so cute this place had like dyed yarn from their sheep farm i love it so So many of you guys recommended that we go to Dream Fishing Tackle in Brooklyn uh, for like really cool home stuff, which we did, and they're fucking outrageously expensive. Like their stuff is so marked up and so ridiculously priced for what it is. So we immediately walked out, <laughs> and now we are going to Pip Home, which is also some place that you recommended. So let's check that out and see if we can find something better. never had sauerkraut before but Maya just found this hot dog place called Glizzy's I love and so we are going to try it for the first time the verdict was that the hot dog was fabulous delicious yeah 10 out of 10 recommend the best hot dog I've had here so far mm -hmm. sauerkraut is great <laughs> We are walking the High Line right now at night and it's so pretty. All the buildings are so stunning. But some of these buildings, like, you can literally see directly into their apartment. It's like at the level of the walkway, which is kind of freaky. 
Like, I don't know how these people don't need their privacy. Today is our last day. We do not want to leave. We have like fallen in love with New York. Shut up, bitch. Hold on, this rude bitch is interrupting me. Anyway, I'm gonna go around the city a little bit, do a little bit of shopping, because we only have a few hours before we have to head to the airport. But like, honestly, I'm so sad. Last night, me and Sebastian went out, and like, New York literally never sleeps. Like, Times Square was fucking packed last night. Like, wildly packed. Here she goes again. Obviously, she does not know I'm vlogging. Anyway, we went out last night. It was so much fun. We stayed out until 4 a.m. And then I woke up this morning at like 9 or 8.30, full of energy. I'm not sure how. I think it's the city. Because in Houston, I would probably have been dead for like two days after, but it was amazing. Oh, yeah, he's a part of the vlog. <laughs> he's a part of the vlog. <laughs> back at Lauderay for the second time this trip. And we're just obsessed, we can't. I got a chocolate croissant, which is like the most buttery, flaky chocolate croissant I've ever had. Sebastian got the flan, the vanilla flan. We got a whole box of macaroons to take back to Houston. And Maya got the chocolate croissant as well. And I had to get that cherry blossom latte because that shit was so fucking yummy. Last time, and I've never had anything like it, so I'm gonna definitely miss that, for sure. We were just parched, so we had to come to this place called Butler and get another drink, even though we literally just finished our drinks from Lotteray. We're at the airport. We're at the airport going back to Houston. We should get together. I don't want to go. I guess I can get over the fact that we have to leave New York because we're in the American Express Centurion Lounge, which makes it 10 times better because free alcohol. So, you know, you know how that goes, but we're gonna board the flight pretty soon, probably within the next 40 minutes or so. And then off to Houston. I'm like, this trip has been so amazing. We have done so much stuff. We have found so many vendors and artists for the gallery. And honestly, it's just been a great time. Like, I know normally people say spend like three three days or so in New York, but like really, I mean, we've been here for six days and like, we've real. I mean, we've done so much. It's been great. All right, we're back in Houston. We're waiting with our luggage for the Uber to come pick us up and then take us home. We're all sad and depressed because we don't want to be here. We, we would much rather be in New York. Like, I, all I'm craving right now is the chicken over rice platter from those little damn food carts that are on every fucking corner. Literally, the second we landed here, guess what it was? Hot as fuck, humid, sticky, and it smells like fucking cigarettes. This is, I'm sick and tired of this damn place. Mm -hmm. 